Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all well and having a lovely start to the year. So this is actually the first video that I'm filming in 2020, but it's probably not going to be the first one that I upload. I think I'm going to do a best of beauty as well. Thought we would start off in January as one of my first videos by recreating a video that I actually did at the start of 2019, which actually ended up being one of my most popular videos of last year. I think it was like how to be a catfish in... 2019 yeah okay so it's called how to be a catfish in 2019 i basically did this look with like the red lipstick and stuff so i thought i would recreate not the makeup but just the video idea and instead we're gonna do how to be a catfish in 2020 oh my god the most recent comment is talking about how shit my nose contour is so thank you sarah also it's so weird looking at this makeup look now because it's literally so different to how i do my makeup now so especially my eyebrows my eyebrows are so different in that makeup so I'm kind of intrigued to see what my makeup's going to be like in another year's time because I feel like I look like a hot mess in this, to be honest. So I've already primed my eyes and done my brows. I use the Urban Decay um, Brow Blade Brow Pencil. Urban Decay is, of course, cruelty-free. And then I also just use Tarte Shape Tape to prime the eyes, as always, in light medium. For the palette, I'm basically going to do, like kind of like an everyday glam or like my everyday makeup but when I want to make more effort if you know what I'm saying so kind of like a smoky neutral wing I'm going to stick to more of like the matte shades today so it still kind of looks like just a bit undone and just a bit smoky but still you know put together but still not too hard you know you know what I'm trying to say? You know. Okay. The palette that I'm going to use is the Dose of Colours Baked Browns palette. If you're in the UK, like me, um, they actually do Dose of Colours on Beauty Bay. So I'm going to try and link all of the products down below if I can. Just going to probably start with this shade. I think I'm just going to use all of the mattes, bar obviously the light one. I'm going to use the brown to do a shadowing liner because you guys know I love a shadowing liner. So um, I'm just going to start with the lighter shades and then move up towards the darker shades, all of that good stuff. It's not really going to be like a heavy, intense eye it's gonna be more of like a kind of just like a subtle wing with like a nice lash so you kind of look a bit put together but also like you've not made too much too much effort these eyeshadows are very pigmented as well so I always have to be like oh I feel like that is not fully dry wait right there thank you I always set concealer like I literally could not do eyeshadow with wet concealer like it just does not work for me but yeah i'm just gonna run this through the crease i'm starting on the outer corner when i've got the most amount of shadow on the brush and then kind of just like bringing it through really really gently ow this eyeshadow in my eyes <laughs> but yeah it's quite interesting for me filming this as well compared to comparing it to like last year's video because like i said i do my makeup a lot differently now in the first one of this last year I did like a full on black wing liner. I'm pretty sure I used like my NYX wing liner, um, which I don't really do wing liner anymore. Like I, I kind of do it sometimes, but I just prefer something like a little bit softer. But yeah, how was everyone's new year? <laughs> I actually had a very quiet one for new year's. Like just kind of stayed in, watched the fireworks, had drinks, finished you. <laughs> I finished watching you, which the ending i'm just i don't really want to say anything in case people haven't finished it or watched it but like the whole last the very last bit of the ending which was like the plot twist and like the thing that leads up to season three like i just what <laughs> and we also did start watching the witcher sorry i forgot to say i'm just going in with this shade now Thank you. I just can't really get into The Witcher. Maybe I need to like push through a little bit. I was very much like this with Game of Thrones. Like I really wanted to get into Game of Thrones. And then oh, I just like, got, I got, I literally got to like season three. Like I committed to so many episodes and it got to like halfway through season three and I just stopped bothering. Cause I was just like, I cannot get into this. But then I really like stuff like The Hobbit and like The Lord of the Rings. So I feel like I should like stuff like that. I don't know. So the first place I apply the brush is right in the outer crease here. The shade is really, really beautiful, by the way. It's like a really rich brown. Um, and I'm just going back and forth there in that section. I'm not taking it any further in. And then I kind of just go right at the corner of my eye and just create, it's almost like a little triangle or like a little V shape. Also started going to the gym, as I mentioned in like my New Year's Eve get ready with me so kind of like I took some before some befores and then I'm going to take some afters at the end of the month um I've been twice so far and it's currently the third of 
3rd of June. 3rd of Jan and I've been twice. So I went yesterday and then I also went this morning and just did a little bit extra. So just been like filming that. And then I'm also gonna include like what I'm eating, what I'm doing on days where I'm like, having more of a rest day, like that type of thing. Okay, and then we're gonna start the liner. So the brush that I use for this is the Anastasia Number no. 7 brush, um, which is basically a really, really thin, you want a really thin liner brush for the outer corner. I always take up a fair amount on the brush because you want the pigmentation. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and my thumb and I basically just run them either side just to make sure the brush is like super skinny and there's no like excess product on the outside that's going to give you like a really sharp line and then you just want to press pretty much where we've done the shape with the shadow okay and then you just want to connect down so from about there and then I don't use the same brush to fill in just because this one is really thin that it just takes a lot longer. I take a Zoeva All Night Long um, 317 brush which is a much thicker and much more dense angled brush. That's what I'm going to use to actually fill in the wing because if I use this it would literally take me ages to do it. Okay now that that's done I'm going to do the same trick that I did in my last get ready with me with the Jet Waterproof Liner. So this is Anastasia which is again cruelty free. Um, I'm going to use a different angled brush again. First thing I'm going to do is the tight line or the upper waterline. This really just makes your lash line look a lot thicker and helps to blend lashes. Basically going to do like a wing inside the wing. So just like a baby wing. You could just do a normal wing if you want to, if you don't want to do all these steps because I know it's excessive. But I feel like this just creates a much more natural looking wing and a much more like smoky wing but still gives like the nice definition. That is one done. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then also put lashes on off camera as well. Okay, lashes are on. So these are the finished eyes. Really simple, but I feel like still very cute, still very put together. Um, good tip for lashes as well. I always stick my outer corner quite high. This is why I do like the gel as well as the shadow because that kind of conceals it. But I always stick my lash above my actual natural lash line because it gives your eyes like a natural lift if that makes sense onto skin again i've tried to pick out as many cruelty free products as i could so for primer we're going to be using the ciate watermelon burst hydrating primer which is actually one of my favorite primers right now it's really really good on the skin feels very moisturizing which we love my skin is very dry right now so Need all the moisture I can get. Thank you very much. For foundation, I thought we'd use the Anastasia, what's this called? Luminous foundation in the shade 300C. So I use this in my testing video. My testing video? My like, <laughs> testing new makeup video not so long ago. Um, and I've not actually used it since. And that's not because I don't like it. I actually do really like this foundation. I'm just currently trying to use up ones that I know I've had for a while and that have been opened for a while that I know are going to expire. It's quite thick for a luminous foundation as well, which is nice. For cream bronzer, I'm going to try out the KKW Contour Stick, which I'm pretty sure this is expired because I've had it so long now. But... It is what it is, we're just gonna do it anyway. This is the shade medium as well, in case anyone's wondering. I actually really like that. I don't know why I'm not used to that more. I always like to go underneath really gently with a beauty blender as well. This hasn't got any product on. Okay, one thing I actually wanna try more of this year is cream blush because every single time I see someone else use it, it looks so beautiful and I just never think to do it. So I've got two here. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush in the shade Peachgasm and then also the iconic Cheeky Coral, which this is quite a new product. I think I'm gonna just like pop these on the back of my hand and then use like the bottom of my sponge to kind of blend them into the skin. I'm actually gonna try a stippling brush instead because I feel like that might work better. Oh, it's actually very sheer. Okay, I might try some of the Iconic on top because that is actually a lot more sheer than I expected it to be. They're actually both quite sheer. <laughs> They're both quite sure. I feel like you can kind of tell. Heart Shape Tape, my fave concealer of all time, is cruelty free. So, great news. I'm just going in 
with my sponge. I've left the concealer to dry for a little bit as well, just so we get that extra bit of coverage. And then any excess, I just go around the face. This is why I don't put extra concealer um, around. I kind of just see what I've got first and then add more if I need to, because a lot of the time I do put quite a lot under my eyes. Okay, and then the one product that I don't have anything cruelty free for is powder. I actually don't own a cruelty free powder, which I don't know how. I'm gonna have to use this, which is my YSL Souffle Declat powder in the shade two. Favorite powder of all time. I feel like my mission for this year is to find a powder that is as good as this, that is more affordable and cruelty free because honestly, everything that I try just does not compare to this. Like honestly, when you apply it, which I apply it with a wet sponge, I always start at the outer corner and blend in, take it down to my smile lines. Don't really let it sit for too long, like I don't bake or anything like that because I have quite dry skin as it is. And you can kind of see just how smooth that makes the skin look, like literally so smooth. Okay, finishing off lower lash line, I'm just gonna go back in with the same palette. So I'm just gonna use kind of like the more neutral lighter shade first and then a tiny bit of the darker shade as well. And I'm just using a Backstage Beauty blender brush and I'm just going to smudge this on the lower lash line. I'm actually going to use a little bit of brown pencil liner. This is the Kat Von D um, cake pencil in the shade Mad Max Brown, which again, Kat Von D is cruelty free. So I'm just going to run this on the very outer corner just to add a little bit of like smokiness there. Okay, for powder bronzer, we're gonna use a little bit of Fenty Beauty in the shade Shady Biz. This is the Sunstalker bronzer. I don't really go quite in <laughs> around the forehead and just let the brush like blend it into the foundation. Okay, nose contour is actually one of the things that has stayed the same for me. So I still use the same brush, which is the Makeup Forever 144. So I'm just gonna take some of the bronzer and again, I pinch the brush with this because you want the contour to be nice and precise. So I basically go up and down each side on the bridge and I connect it to the brow bone. I think that's really, really important. And then I actually stop when I get to the very tip of my nose and I don't really contour that in terms of the sides but I do always do underneath because I feel like that gives the illusion of a button nose which I personally don't have so I do like to give that effect. For highlighter I've picked out two different ones so we've got the Dose of Colours um the Dose of Colour? Dose of Colours. Dose of Colours. <laughs> this is the Desi X KT Fuego highlighter which I always worry it's gonna to be too dark for my skin. I've also got the Artist Couture Illuminati Diamond Glow Powder, which is very intense, but why not? <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit on my highlighting brush from the lid and just go on the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over that blush because I feel like that's just disappeared. So I've picked out Becca Flower Child, which is actually an old favorite of mine. I've not used it in so long, so Going to pop that on the apples of the cheeks. It's very pigmented. So just with a light hand. I always do blush after highlighter as well because it kind of just helps to blend the highlighter and the bronzer together a little bit. So for lips, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk, which is kind of like a pinky nude. And then I'm gonna go in the center with a liquid lipstick. So I think I'm gonna use Kylie matte liquid lipstick in the shade Naked and just create like a little bit of an ombre to make the lips look nice and plump. And then I am gonna go over with a Kiko Hydro Gloss in the shade 18, which is literally my favorite gloss at the minute. And again, I believe Kiko is cruelty free, so amazing. I'm actually gonna switch out and use a little bit of the Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Bombshell because the Charlotte Tilbury Pensy, the, the, <laughs> the what? <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury pencil is just a bit too dry because I think it's a little bit old. So I'm going to use this and then also a bit of Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury as well and the gloss on top. <laughs> so this is pretty much the finished look. You just want to do setting spray as well. I'm going to go setting spray as always, which I'm going to do now. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much everything. I really hope you guys like this makeup. 
very excited about this new year, I have to say. So let me know what videos you want coming up. I'm gonna get going anyway because I'm actually off out for dinner. So if you've got any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Everything will be linked down below in the description in terms of products. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.